me, Jessica. It is Monday, February 1st, and I am, let's see, three days late on my week two post-op. Um, I've probably been dragging my feet because I don't have a whole lot to report, or at least not the numbers that I would like to report. Let's put it that way. Um, where to begin? I guess we'll start with the numbers. Um, week one post-op, I was 261.0, and for my week two numbers, I was 260.0. So I lost one whole pound in week two. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I'm not. I'm not really discouraged. Of course, I wish it was more than one pound, but it is what it is. Um, my doctor's office had a pretty progressive eating um, plan. I know some of you guys talked about being on different stages for weeks at a time. Um, basically, after I did my seven days of full liquids, or not full liquids, I'm sorry, seven days of clear liquids right after my surgery, I did three days of full liquids, then I went to three days of puree, three days of uh, mash foods and then right now is the only long stretch I have where I'm supposed to be on two weeks of soft foods uh, which would put me up to uh, eating solid foods or you know normal food whatever you want to call it by the time I have my uh, first one month appointment which is when I'm supposed to get my first fill which is set for Wednesday February 17th so a little more like two weeks and two days from now so um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not too disappointed with the one pound. One pound is certainly better than gaining. Um, I just, I guess I'm assuming it has to do with my body is now trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm eating foods and before I was only doing clear liquids and maybe it was holding on to everything that I was giving it. Um, I was not exercising during that time. I just started exercising two days ago. Um, you know, other, you know, to where I was actually doing it on equipment. I was walking and things like that, but nothing that I would say is um, true exercise. So I just started doing that two days ago. Um, today will be day three for me. I'm trying to start out a little light. I still have a little bit of discomfort every now and then if I try to overexert uh, myself, but nothing that's painful. Like I said, it's probably more just a discomfort. I can tell when I'm uh, pushing myself maybe a little farther than I should be. Um, I guess that's really all I have to report. I mean, I'm just trying to figure things out. I really um, have struggled with how to eat, how much to eat, how quick to eat, and I'm sure that's probably normal for, you know, being just out of having surgery two weeks ago. Um, so, I guess I'm just trying to figure it all out. So, that's kind of it for me for this week. Uh, I should be back in just a few more days because I will actually be three weeks post-op on Friday. So, that's four days from now. So, I'll be able to report in uh, week three here shortly. But, um, anyways, I hope everybody is doing well. Again, appreciate all the support. Uh, appreciate all the subscribers, new and old. Um, you guys have been wonderful. Um, if any of you guys are curious what it looks like in Minnesota on this lovely day, I'm going to flip you around real quick because it's snowing. Where is spring? Anyways, I know spring is a ways away, but I'm over the snow. So here you go. Take a peek. I'm in my car, but let's look. You can see it is snowing. Snowing, snowing. But it's not too bad. You can see how much snow is on the ground. That's a big old pile. But, um... It is snowing, it's cold, let's see, it says it's 16 degrees, so it's not exactly ideal snowing weather. It's a little too cold to snow um, a lot, so I don't know how much we're supposed to get, but it's already sticking to the ground, which never is good for traffic. Good thing I don't drive very far for work. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope everybody is doing well, and you'll see me again soon. See you guys, bye.